YouTube, this is JJ714 coming back at you and I am going to now um, discuss what I did with my hair uh, last night and it was a long process for me um, because there's certain things that I do um, at least um, maybe once every other week or every three weeks depending on what my schedule is and I try to listen to my hair uh, as far as what my hair needs. Oops, that's sort of sticking out a little bit. I don't know why. But um, the first thing that I did, and I on my video last night that I put out, I actually discussed or showed you uh, the first step in um, uh, Shakura's um, How to Perform a Pre-Poo uh, on How to Get Moisture Drenched Hair. That's step one. And basically, the products that I use, I use two separate bows. Um, the first um, bow, I put um, a half a cup of aloe vera juice. And I mixed it with two tablespoons of um, safflower oil. And what I did was I sectioned my hair into, I believe it was six sections, and... I went through first and I um, basically used my fingers to finger detangle. You don't have to detangle uh, all the way through, but just get it where you can work with it. And then I um, basically um, dipped my hair, you know, putting the bowl up and putting my hair in and um, work it through going, taking the hair down in a downward motion. And I did, uh, twisted it. Um, each section and I moved on to the next section in the second bowl I put um, oops, I'm sorry I just knocked off my, my top I put um, a fourth of a cup of uh, extra virgin coconut oil or organic and this is um, expeller press refined coconut oil and um, I went back after I finished um, using the the um, aloe vera juice and the um, oil. I went back through each section and I took it down and put the coconut oil and then retwisted my hair, um, put a conditioner cap. I used these conditioner caps. Um, put one of those on my hair and I sat under my hooded dryer for about 30 minutes and then I rinsed it with warm water my next step after um, I did my pre-poo was I did a shampoo. Now, what I did differently, I was doing a co-wash. But what I decided to do, because um, I normally handle my hair quite a bit, but um, lately my schedule has just been so um, busy that I haven't had opportunity um, so I mentioned two videos ago that I would start um, practicing or not practicing. I would start using more of my um, um, powders that um, I had. So the one powder that I have, which is uh, Clappy Tongue, Cal Cal Calpy Tongue, uh, Tongue, it actually is for... Um, it's for dark hair, dandruff-free hair. Um, and what it does is it helps with, uh, it's a natural beauty therapy for hair. Hatch uh, Capitone adds a dark tint to the hair and give it a natural dark shade. And it's made from, from natural ingredients like uh, aloe, um, alum, uh, bronze, uh, some of the other, the other herbs I can't really pronounce, and other herbs. Um, the blend has to be used as a thick paste in water or oil and retain and retain for over an hour after application. Uh, in other words, you leave it on your hair for at least an hour. Uh, when massaged over the scalp, uh, it can help to strengthen hair roots and promote hair growth. But um, what I wanted to do, because I was starting to notice that I was having some um, gray strands in my hair, and because I did not have the opportunity to go ahead and do a henna treatment, um, which I might try to get to on Tuesday. Um, maybe I'll do it overnight Monday so I can rinse it out Tuesday and uh, then follow up with a, a deep conditioner. But um, 
either or, <laughs> I did a co-wash. And what I did was I mixed, um, do I have my co-wash? I don't think, hold on, let me get the, the conditioner out that I use. I use my VO5 uh, T therapy um, conditioner. And I didn't measure it, but um, this was just open. So as you can see, I used quite a bit. And then I um, I mixed that with, um, it was about two teaspoons of the, the powder. And I ended up, just before I put it on, um, I put a little bit of my Tresemme Naturals. As you can see, it's almost gone. That's why I have it turned upside down. Because um, I try not to waste product. <laughs> So, um, I used that and I ended up putting a little, um, aloe vera juice in it because it was starting to, uh, if you don't use it right away, it'll swell. And I might have should have put water in it, but I didn't want to mess up my, uh, conditioner. So, I put that on my hair and I let it stay on for about 45 minutes. I didn't do the whole hour because I had quite a bit to do still. Now, after I finish doing my co-wash, um, my next step that I did was um, my, I, I um, had to do a protein treatment. And I'm supposed to do this every two weeks, um, but I have to be honest, I haven't. So... Since I sat back down and read the directions again, I will put it on my um, list to do every two weeks. And I'll probably do it, if not a Friday night, it'll be a Saturday morning, but probably Friday night. Um, or I might try to start, no, it have to be a Friday night because I work out on Fridays. But um, basically, all I did was, uh, after I washed my co-washed my hair, you apply this to clean, damp hair, and uh, it says applies an ample amount of the polymetic to saturated hair completely. Cover hair with plastic cap, which is what I did, and leave on 10 minutes with or without heat. And then you rinse with lukewarm water. And I actually used this as uh, I got under and used heat on my hair. And this is what it does. It's a reconstructor. It repairs and strengthens hopelessly damaged hair. A renewing blend of polymers, elastins, and amino acids, and collagen, and collagen create an internal framework within the hair shaft to restore integrity. Used once every two weeks to structurally reinforce chemically damaged or thermically stressed hair. Each treatment will dramatically improve hair's condition and shine. So... Um, I'm not sure if I will get this again. I liked it because of the reviews and it doesn't, when I put it on my hair, it doesn't make my hair hard. Now I know, um, one of the ladies that I reviewed and I think she was, um, I don't know if she was like a hair stylist or whatever, but apparently she had had, um, I think she had, you know, like cancer or something and her hair fell out. And she started using this and she actually will put it on her hair for like an hour. And apparently when you, and she was set up under the dryer, uh, it makes your hair supposedly rock hard. But I could be honest, it never made my hair rock hard, even when I set up under the dryer. And I actually set up under for maybe about uh, 15 minutes. I set 10, but I actually set up under for 15 but um, probably next time I use it, I might try to let it stay on for an hour just to see if there's a difference. So when I finish um, using this, I rinse it with lukewarm water. Then my next step was um, I use my garlic conditioner uh, on my hair. And I use my body heat for this. I didn't add any oils or anything to it. I just used the garlic and the purpose for me to use it is um, I'm not shedding, but I like to, if I haven't used it in a while, I tend to use it. And lately, since it's been so cold and I do wear my hair out quite a bit, I just try to use this like every main wash that I, I do. And then what I did was I um, 
One other thing that I learned yesterday, and I'm trying to find the paperwork, so please excuse me for moving about. Um, I was doing some research, and I mentioned it on my video from last night, that I have low porosity as far as my hair, and that's being able to absorb water or moisture. So, um, one of the recommendations for um, people that have low por uh, porosity hair, uh, because it's much harder to moisturize since it's more difficult for moisture to penetrate the hair shell, is that um, what was a good thing that was recommended was to use, um, and this was, um, I got the information off Curly Nikki. Um, by an L Providence of PartyOverHair.com and also um, there was another young lady that did something this um, from Curls.biz uh, her name is Mahisha Hala I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing mispronouncing it's M-A-H-I-S-H-A-D-E-L-L-I-N-G-E-R and I actually I was I got more from what she was saying, even though they were both basically saying the same thing. But they rec she recommended to do the um, Cherry Lola. Um, she's a young lady on YouTube, and I am going to probably go back and look at some more of her videos, and I just cannot seem to find the paper. But um, they recommended using... First, you take some baking soda, and then you take um, some water, and you mix that up, and then you are either, you can take the baking soda, and you can put it in your, your deep conditioner. Now, I did not want to put it in my deep conditioner, and it was sort of a toss-up as to which one I would do first. Um, I'm doing my daughter's hair now, so I'm, I'm probably going to actually put some of the baking soda in the conditioner because my daughter is not as patient as I am. But um, what I did first, before I did the baking soda, I used my peppermint uh, stimulating deep conditioner. Oh, I love it. And I actually added some drops of uh, it's peppermint essential oils and... I add um, I added some peppermint essential oils in it, and I think that was basically it. I'm sorry, that's our alarm. My husband's coming back in the house, and um, basically I um, um, put my deep conditioner on, and that's the moisturizing deep conditioner, and I set up on the my um, steamer for an hour. Then I rinse that out, and then I put the um, baking soda and the with the water mix and i put that on my hair and i was a little nervous at first because what it does is opens up your cuticles and everything so what you do is you put it on it doesn't give you a time frame as to um how long you need to leave it on and it was probably about one o'clock this morning when i was doing this so i didn't let it stay on more than i think maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes if it was that long because it does tend to start dry, drying up really really quick um and then i rinsed it with cool water uh rinse out the the baking soda and water with cool water then it recommends that you use um some apple cider vinegar i'm sorry some um, aloe vera juice to close your cuticles back in so um, after I finished that rinse, I put some, a little, I took some in my little measuring cup like this and I, um, put it in my hands and just put it all the way through my hair and got my scalp and it, it really made my hair feel good. And my hair actually looked good. I mean, I was really, really, really amazed because it had not looked that way, um, you know, as far as me washing it. So... I knew that, you know, what uh, Shakur had recommended as well as the young lady about the um, porosity hair, it was really making a difference with my hair, and that was just after the first uh, use. Then my last step that I did, or I shouldn't say my last step because it wasn't my last step, 
I did in this four steps would be to do um, a leave-in. And um, she gave uh, Shakur, and I'm not going to tell you. If you want to find out about it, you can either hit me on a personal, uh, you know, send me a message. Or you can go to beautifybitbybit.com and you can pull it up. Um, but this is the mixture that I use. And um, it was real, real easy and simple to mix. Um, my hair loves it. I liked it. Um, and after I put this on, then I did the LOC, which, and this was like my first liquid but I, that I used. But then I used um, some oil, which I used was grape seed. And I put it in a little container like this because I don't like to waste oil. So, um, but I, I will be definitely using grape seed more. And then um, I put that on and I use, after that, I use my She Naturals um, N-A-J-U-M-A White Leave-In Conditioner. I can never pronounce it. I really like this stuff. It's, it's heavy, it's creamy, and my hair loves it. Um, but I do try to make sure I don't go overboard. I just use a little bit because a little bit goes a long way. And um, what I did was put my hair in twists. Now, this is where I made the error. And I, I know it was because it was so late because it was going on 2 o'clock. My husband had been up working on um, school work. And I knew he was ready for me to go to bed. But I had to finish my hair because I had an appointment this morning. So... I should have just stopped at that point and just did my two strand twists and then sealed my ends. But I want to thicken my hair and my daughter's hair is really, really thick. And all I do to her hair is I oil her scalp with castor oil. So I got the grand idea that I would start oiling my hair with castor oil. But my hair is a little finer than my daughter's hair. So castor oil is really, really too heavy. What I might have to do with the castor oil is mix it with grapeseed or something that's a little bit lighter. But I can't just use plain castor oil unless I do it, um, you know, like um, I'm using it for my, and I even when I do the, the greenhouse effect, um, the real queen's greenhouse effect, I still have to mix it because castor oil is heavy even the reg the regular one I used to use Jamaican black but it tended to make my scalp itch and even though I still use it it was like why pay more money for it and then it itches when I can just use the regular one and it does the same thing and really it does for me and my daughter's hair it does the same thing so um I put the castor oil on my scalp and I just twisted my hair and I also used it to seal my ends. But I will only be using castor oil now uh, before I wash, like my um, nightly, the night before, I'll do a pre pre pull and I'll use the castor oil on my scalp and another oil on the length of my hair to do the G H, the G -H E and then I will just start. But Basically, um, the bottom line is you have to, as a new uh, person that's going into their hair journey, regardless of if your hair is natural, relaxed, text lax, you know, whatever, you have to find a regimen that works for you. You have to find products that work for you. Um, and, you know, I've been in my journey, it'll be three years this, this July. And this is probably the most comfortable I've, I've felt in my hair journey because I'm really beginning to see what works for me and what does not work for my hair. So this is almost 20 minutes, which is longer than what I wanted it to be. But I was trying to get everything in. But I'm going to come back, try to do a recap. And then I did buy a few new things that I don't think I've showed you Um that I'll show you. So with that, I will talk to you later. Peace.